this video is live streamed on my Twitch channel, so if you like the video, maybe check out the stream. And as always, thank you for watching. That's right, we're gonna use the default guns, cause why not? We're gonna eventually get that really ugly assault rifle that looks like someone glued a bunch of tubes together. Shall we? Yeah, I'll, Check I'll, this place out. I'll take it. Those are the best of the line of face. Those are the best of the line of face. I should have paid this jump. There's one of my favorite lines. Um. Uh-huh. Would you look at this thing? What would Voltec trying to do here? What's all that ruckus about? <laughs> Would you look at this thing? What would Voltec trying to do here? And what's that noise it's making? Ugh, there must be something wrong with it. All right, let's take a closer look here. <laughs> Picking up some kind of radio signal. Seems like it's trying to connect to something nearby. Hey, do me a favor. Go to that table with the ASAMs in the other room. All right, there should be a switch there. Flip it off and cut the power to the sensors. Huh. All right, come on back. Yep, that confirms what I thought, all right. I assume you'll explain what you're talking about at some point. The signals this machine was picking up, they were coming from those ASAMs. They were emitting the radio signals. Makes sense, I suppose. Exactly. When you shut off the power to the ASAMs, we shut off the signal. Simple deduction. I didn't know the sensors could do something like that. Emit a radio signal, that is. But that begs the question. Just what is this thing? Why is it trying to pick up signals from sensors? Just what kind of ASAM technology were vault -Tec trying to copy here? Uh, here. Hmm? What you got there? Technical documents, huh? You already had these? Not that I'm complaining, but is there anything you come across that you don't pick up? Well, I'll be. According to these documents, this machine is vault attempt to duplicate a comm hub. I mean, it's not exactly a good attempt, but still, I suppose an effort was made. Not much a rival product, though. Doesn't even seem to work right. I guess after Magnuson stole the hub, vault were forced to build their own version with no real reference. You know, if this thing really is a reproduction of a comm hub, I think we actually might be able to use this. How? We came here looking for another comm hub, because the one we've got so badly damaged it won't even turn on. And while it's not exactly what I expected to find here, this vault tech knockoff might still be useful. Call me optimistic, but between this thing and the real comm hub, we might just be able to cobble together something that works. Huh. Could work. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Well, with that, I think we've uncovered everything we can here. Okay, let me just take a mental inventory of everything we found. We got the schematics to build our own sensors. New plot types, if I could figure out how to make them work. And of course, vault version of a comm hub, which just might allow us to start repairing the one we've already got. To call this trip productive would be an understatement. I knew working with you was a good idea, but damn, I didn't expect us to do this well. Come on, don't sell yourself short. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I appreciate the sentiment, but you're the one who's making this happen. All right, I need to start gathering things up. Move everything we found back to the hardware store. Oh, wait, shit! I completely forgot! I meant to go meet up with someone. And I doubt they'll take kindly me blowing them off. A meeting? 
Is there a problem? An acquaintance of mine. Actually, it's the guy who got us the info on this place. He said he needed to talk to me once I was done here. Something about some important information he wanted to share. But there's no way I can just leave all this stuff here. Look, I know I'm kind of passing the buck, but could you meet with this fella for me? See what he wants? I'd really appreciate it. Sure, I can do that. Oh, thank you. You're a real pal. Sweeter than a baby's breath. The fellow you need to visit lives up in Diamond City. He's an information broker. He calls himself the Rom. Chances are he wants to sell us some info. And given his past track record, it's probably something useful. So here, take these caps. Pay him and find out what he has to say. Most hours of the day you'll find him in his office, towards the back of the city. I'm safe. Not that it's any my business, but while you're in Diamond City, it might be a good time to follow up on any leads you got. You know, on your kid. I understand there's a detective living there. Apparently he's one of the best when it comes to tracking things down. Yo. Thanks for the advice. Hey, no problem, Slick. All right, time for me to get this stuff back to the hardware store. This should be a fun challenge of logistics. Once you've wrapped up everything with the Ron, head on back and let me know how it went. Oh, actually, before you go, might as well take this. Here. That's a copy of the ACM schematics. With that, you can now build your own sensors. As long as you got the parts. Nice. Nice. I won't blame you if you want to test out and build a few sensors. Just don't keep the Ron waiting for too long. Anyway, I'll see you later. Good luck out there. Okay. Wait, I can get dog meat to pick hey. these up. Dog meat, pick get that, that up. Get that pistol. No, dog meat, I don't want. Grab that gun over there. Grab it. No, don't drop it, please. No, you fuck. You're supposed to pick it up. It's fine. You're a good boy. Scooter's gonna come running out because he's jealous. Especially now that I oh, said his name. Still here, I see. Actually, if you've got a minute, there's something I've been thinking about. Sure. What's up? Well, this Magnuson guy. Just what was going on there? I mean, clearly he had no interest in helping Vault Tech. And just what was he doing with all the supplies he was stealing? Like the Com Hub. Why'd he send that to Olivia? I find it hard to believe vault didn't notice that. Did they have their heads in the sand? Or did they just not care? Doesn't any of it strike you as kind of... weird? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> well, glad I'm not the only one who thinks so. But I guess we'll never get any answers. Anyway, you've, you've got things to do and I'm just distracting you. I won't keep you any longer. But thanks for listening. I appreciate it. Okay. Wait, I can open this now. Nice. Got it. Plasma cartridge, pipe pistol, not really worried about that. That's 2.3 pounds. Why not? Alright. Oh, there's a fucking thing. I just seen the chest. All right, I can hear dog me. I'm not gonna go back down there. Fuck that. It's not worth it. Give it a fat save. That save was thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Okay, so. Need to head over to Diamond City. And speak with Iran. There we go. Okay, so hide an eligible perks here. Uncle Boy, not really. Portion finder. Maybe at some point we'll do that. Oh, 
that might be a good one to get out, to grab. Eh. I think last I remember I needed... Oh my luck is at two, holy shit. I might do here and now. Yeah, I'm gonna do here and now. Then we can do the other one that. Ah, uh, tag. Wait, I got tag, why isn't it let me pick? Oh, maybe I have to put points into it first. Um. Expert terminals. That tags that tag one didn't work. Yeah, that tag skill thing didn't work. That's annoying. That was a waste of my time. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there we go. There. This is gonna... This is gonna be great. Oh, we just leveled up again. Right? No, that's from the here and now part. Why are we wasting so much time? Hey, where do you think you're going? Now you better answer if you want to keep those teeth. That's none of your business. You don't seem to understand who we are. Will you just leave them alone? We're not meant to start trouble with the locals. Yeah? Well, how do we know this ain't the man we're looking for? He doesn't even match the description. Now come on. Let's get going. We got work to do. God, you son of a fool. You got lucky this time, Wastelander. I... What does your shirt say? Hey, stop moving. Wait. Wait. Oops. Whatever. Hey, all right! Another new client. Don't be shy now. No need to stay in the waiting room. Come sit your hips up down. Yeah? Okay. How about some pie? Oh yeah! I like that look. 
The kind that says, don't start trouble with me? I can tell you're a guy with his head on straight. The smart, sophisticated type. Nice to meet a friendly face. You don't get just a friendly face, my friend. You get the whole package deal. The face, the talent, the unrivaled resourcefulness. You get the Ron! You have information I need. Well, of course I do. Wait. Say. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I get the feeling you were sent here by Jake. What do you know about him? I'm sorry. I don't share information on clients or friends. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm here. When you're right, you're right, baby! And nine times out of ten, the Ron is usually right. Gotta say, I'm surprised to see Jake partner up with someone. I always struck me as the lone wolf kind of guy, you know? But any friend of Jake's is a friend of the Rons. Now, let's get down to brass tacks. The reason I asked Jake back here was so I could share some information. But since you're his partner, I can tell you the info instead. For a price. After all, I'm running a business here. You've got my attention. Let's hear it. As Jake tells it, you and he are building up settlements together. Now that's cool and all. But he's off the gas for a second. Have you stopped to think about the people joining those settlements? After all, it's the people that make a town. And surely you want the best and brightest, right? Of course. Huh? But you can't always tell who's hip just by looking. Or can you? You ever heard of a vigor tester? It's a kind of science oh, machine shit. cooked up by pre-war nerds. It can measure a person's attributes. Use it to scan someone, and it can tell if they're as strong as a death claw or as weak as a kitten, smart as an AI, or as dumb as a mutant. Pretty rad! A useful device, especially for some cool cat wanting to find the cream of the crop. Just so happens, the Ron knows where to find one of these Vigor testers. And I'm willing to tell you where it is. However, there is a small matter of payment for this information. 300 caps. So uh, I got 800, so I can do it, but... Here. Do I have a day tripper? Or anything that can up my... Hmm. Don't think I have. Nope. I'll pay it. You're a businessman, right? You can do better. Ain't no one who can say the Ron don't know how to business. Let's say 250 caps. You sly cat. Sure. Here you go. Oh, yeah. First things first, oh, take yeah. this folder. <laughs> That's all the info the Ron could dig up on the Vigor Tester. Rob Koch Schematics. Now, according to the Ron's records, last known location of the tester was Vault 81. But dig this! That vault's still active, still has residents inside. So, common courtesy says, you knock first. If you can get inside, ask someone in charge about the tester. If it's still there, chances are they'd know. On a side note, if you're looking for able settlers, I got a few leads you might be interested in. Here, this info's on the house. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Ask, and you shall receive. Oh, yeah! Since it appears Jake is busy, I suggest pursuing the Vigor Tester yourself. If you don't know where Vault 81 is, it's near the old Chestnut Halic Reservoir. Just look for all the water. 
You can't miss it. You interested in coming to work for me? I have a good spot you could set up shop. And leave my cool as ice broker gig? No way. If information is power, then I'm the most affluent man in the Commonwealth. And, no offense, but working for someone would really cramp that image. Oh, yeah! Thanks for your help. You are more than welcome. And remember, if you've got information to buy or information to sell, then you come see the coolest cat in the Commonwealth. The Ron! Okay. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. I got it in Vault 95. Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? Just looking to do a little trading. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. <sighs> I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. I already have the fusion cores you need. Really? Well then, I suppose I should say, welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. Episode. They need a break. Until the Everyone's working up. hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's Watch all out I'm for asking. The maintenance Fine, I'll right. see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. Speaking of, if you're ready, I... Of course. Here they are. Thank you. Now, I... Ma'am, what about the dog? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Hey there. You should be flattered. Everyone gets a personal welcome from the Overseer herself. Normally, that's my job. I appreciate the hospitality. I can imagine. 
Being here must be a welcome reprieve after traipsing about the Commonwealth. Anyway, welcome to Vault 81. I'm Deputy Overseer Mansfield. If you have any questions or problems, please bring them to me. Otherwise, enjoy your time in the vault. Can you take a look at these schematics? Oh, goody. More junk from the Commonwealth for me to examine. All right, hand it over. I'll look. Oh, I, I know this device. It's the Vitamatic. The vault's previous physician used it all the time. However, when Dr. Forsyth took over, he deemed the device too... hazardous. Something about combustible tumors or some such. Is that why you're here? For the Vitamatic? If so, I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. Even if we no longer use the device, it's a rare piece of technology. I can't just hand it over to some unwashed outsider. Maybe we can reach an agreement? Hmm. Perhaps if you were to perform a number of services for the vault. You see, a part of my job is making sure the vault runs smoothly. This often means dealing with minor issues before they become a problem. If you've the wherewithal to solve a number of these issues, then I suppose I could justify giving you the Vitamatic as payment. Yeah, sounds fair. The first task I'd ask of you is rather mundane, but vital to the vault's continued survival. You see, our vault's reactors are kept running almost exclusively by a single robot, Old Rusty. However, due to his poor maintenance, Rusty oil. requires a lot of oil Shit. to stay operational. A lot of oil. If you could bring, say, ten units of oil to Old Rusty, ten? that should ensure Fuck. his continued operation, at least for a few months. Uh, sure, I can do that. Your next task would be a little more hands-on. Recently, the vault's been having some issues with its water supply. We've had to run the pumps at full power just to draw in enough water. And the water we do get is of questionable quality. I'd need you to check the intake pipe at the nearby reservoir, to see if anything is blocking the water flow, and if it is, clear it. You may have to get a bit wet. If you manage to solve the issue, find and speak to Catelyn. She deals with the vault's plumbing. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it. If you do succeed, I'll have one more task for you. Finish that, and the Vitamatic will be yours. Off you go. Okay. Shit. <sighs> Ten fucking things of low levels of radiation. Hey, ashes? What are you Not doing bad, up here? Considering. Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Aaron's not going to like this. There's gotta be oil somewhere. Nice pip boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. I don't want to hear any negative reports about you, outsider. Notice I'm not listening to you, dickhead. Another vault? Careful, outsider. Ten units of oil. That sucks. Hi, dog meat. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. You know any tricks? <laughs> That's not a trick. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. You know any tricks? Yeah. <laughs> That's super sad. The, um... The, the dog actor, actress, for dog meat, uh, died, I think, like, a year ago? Hey, mister. No. Are you really from the co Mister. Hey, mister. Where are you going? Oh, hey. Hey, You must baby. be the outsider. I'm Catelyn, the vault's plumber. Or at least the closest thing 81 has to a plumber. I don't suppose Mansfield sent you here. I've been bugging him for weeks now to get someone on the water situation. Yes, I'm here to help. Oh, good. It's about time someone did something. The vault's residents have started to complain about the water, and I don't know what to tell them. The water? Recently, 
Usually we just compensate by increasing power to the pumps. Then when uh -huh. but this is the fifth we do have water. So, tell me about him. Mansfield? He's a decent enough sort, but he does rub some residents the wrong way. People say he's a pencil pushing worrywart. But when we first opened the vault, he was one of the first out to explore the wastes. I don't know, that seemed kind of brave to me. Although he was also the first to come back. Since then, it seems like he's always butting heads with Overseer McNamara. Some say he's after her job. I've got to get going. Okay, bye. If you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. I swear, it's something new I'm every day. Now. Wait up for me. Again? Hey there. Our Commonwealth guest, welcome to the depot. And pardon the clutter, Please, I don't get much time. You haven't needed my help in years. So whatever it is, it can wait. Looks like a lot of junk. It's only junk if you see it that way. People bring me their broken things. Right. When you're dealing with items that are all over 200 years old, work just accumulates like crazy. Some days it's all I can do to keep my head above water. But you probably don't want to hear about all that. Let me know if you want to take a look. I might be interested in buying or selling. Great. I have all sorts of odds and ends. Please tell me you have ten things of fucking... of oil. It's not looking good. That's one. And she wants fucking $27 for it. That's three. Some bitch. Do I have any on me? Nope. Is that the two shot? Yeah. So we'll have to buy that at some point. Ugh, it sucks. Stop nagging at me, Alexis. Huh? Give me a good actually. I love it. I didn't think I'd ever make it in with the hours I've been working. Yes, we did. We found out. Oh, you up a new batch of pies today? I heard Alexis oh. promised one to Ellen. No we gotta find some. There's gotta be some around here. It's been a while since someone from the Commonwealth last visited us. There might be some down with him. I certainly hope. Seer will make it for you. Hey, the outsider. Oh man, my hands are shaking. Is it a little crowded in here, or is it just me? Hey, old Rusty. How can I assist you? Warning! Overdue for me. How many do I have? I think I only have like four, right? One, two, three. Three. So I need seven more. Fuck. 
But work never ends in Vault 81. Here we go. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need just one more. We. I don't think we're gonna. Uh, I need just the one more. Sprags cleaner? No. How is there not one more? Oh, here we go. Wait, we're good. We got enough. Whoa! A real life Commonwealth person. Woo! All right, we got hey, the ten. Right. Hey, remember what I said. Old Rusty. How can I assist you? Warning. Open. Here. Oh, thank you, sir. You are most. Okay, we got that done. Let's go back to the surface. Whatever you want, forget it. I can't be bothered with it right now. Need to check the water pumps again. The water sounds funny. Fact. If you just disabled this elevator altogether, you'd see a loading screen. Poor Aaron. Cat. Hope that Pip Boy belongs to you. So we should be pretty close to, uh, I think we just have one more thing to do after we clear this blockage. Bingo.
I don't remember if fast traveling there goes in or not. Excuse me. We keep the vaults safe. I heard we had a traitor in today. Oh, there was one right there. Dr. Forsyth is asking to see you when you have a moment. Don't care. Probably will be back. <laughs> This quest is pretty cool. I will say that quest in this vault is pretty neat, but I don't feel like doing it. I'll be honest. You're that Commonwealth traveler, aren't you? Hello again. Here to talk about our water problems? You should have plenty of clean water now. Was that you who cleared the water intake? I noticed the pressure's back to normal. I'm glad someone was able to do something. The water may still have a strange taste, but at least now we won't run out of it. Here, take this. I'm sure Mansfield's already paying you, but I want to give you a personal thank you. Oh, sweet. Yes? It must be rough out there. I'm gonna give myself uh, a... I was hoping you'd stop by. Now I know from experience that Commonwealth shows no mercy when it comes to- Uh-huh. Sure. All right. Nice. So let's see what the Commonwealth has to work with. Just have a seat. For a new hairstyle? I guess that's a no. Got a new look. Are you joking me? Huh. the vault's safe. Don't make me regret <clears throat> letting you in here. I've been hearing good things about you. Old Rusty is running at peak efficiency and the vault's water problems have been solved. I didn't expect such confidence from a wastelander. I didn't expect I you to do that I'm cool twirl. Surprised. That is I'm glad I was able to help. And help you have. Now that you've demonstrated your ability to get a job done, I feel I can entrust you with something more important. If you complete this last task, I'll be happy to reward you with a Vitamatic. Just tell me what you need done. Ever since we opened the vault, our safety... But recently, one such... A mercenary 
What I'd ask is that you find our wayward patrol and bring... Do you know where I can find her? Yes. Her patrol route was between here and Forest Grove Marsh, so she's most likely still there. Sure. Hopefully I'm just worrying over that. Don't worry. I'll find her. No, oh, good. Once you've found our missing patrol, report back to me and the Vitamatic is yours. Good luck. Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. Enjoying Vault 31, I try? Dr. Forsyth and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. So I should be able to take these guys out pretty easy. Considering that. I can't. Oh, a legendary ghoul stalker, huh? He is not very nice. Sorry, dead meat. You can walk it off. There's somewhere over here, isn't it? Might as well do this one, man. Oh, whatever, it's fine. We 
daytime so we can see. Ah, this one's gonna be an hour long too. Here, we're gonna finish this up and then we will probably end the episode. head back yeah so essentially don't you dare crash that is crash behavior that you're that you are doing oh thank god um I think if I cut this up enough it should be less especially if I'm ending it Pretty quick here. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm probably going to like end the episode and then start it back up because I'm addicted to this video game right now. But I mean, I have fucking how many hours in this game? It doesn't say. Here, I can look at my phone. Fallout 4. Just a second. Yeah. <laughs> I have 700 hours in this game. That's not nearly as much as some people, but, like, I definitely have a lot of hours in this game. I spent, Aaron's cat like, to get out of the vault. days if you need a doctor, making the settlements when this Rachel game came out. Medical center, they can patch you up. <coughs> You're back. But I can't help but notice there's not a certain someone with you. What happened to the patrol? I'm afraid it's bad news. She's dead, isn't she? When she failed to report in, I knew something was wrong, but... I'm sorry, I had to be the one to tell you. No, it's not your fault. At least now we know what happened. Despite the circumstances, you did as much as you could. I and the rest of the vault are grateful for your assistance. The Vitamatic is yours. You'll find it in the vault's clinic. Dr. Forsyth has been informed you have permission to take it. Now, you'll have to excuse me. I need to update the vault's records. We did a, keep the vault that, safe. that guy did a fucking good job. He did a good job delivering those lines. Whoever you are, good job. That is, like, better than some of the voice acting in this game. Like, there are, there is some voice acting in this game that's really good. I think, personally, Nate and Nora both have uh, excellent voice acting. I think they just had pretty bad material to go with. 
Um, despite me having 700 hours in this game, I do think that this is the second weakest game in the 3D Fallout RPG games. Uh, I say that because uh, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel uh, is the fucking... It's... We got a barber here if you need it. <sighs> if you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. That, that should say everything. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. I'm donating some medical samples, even just a blood uh -oh. sample. Okay. We did it. Hey. Okay, so, um, yeah, this was kind of a strange episode, um, again, pretty long, uh, so, I'll see you guys next time.